Upon arrival, Venani was engaged by the residents whose houses have been damaged by the recent heavy rains in the capital. Residents took issue with the delayed provision of proper housing, drought relief and service land provision. <laughs> The Popular Democratic Movement president acknowledged the desperate situation in which some of the Axtalan residents live in, urging legislators in parliament, the head of state and government as a whole through the city council to address and hasten housing delivery in the country. You don't want to be a leader in your country and you are seeing fellow Namibians are going through an ordeal and you don't come to look at what they are experiencing and understanding what they are going through. Flood is a known calamity everywhere. Even rich countries can be affected by floods. But all countries, when their people are affected by floods, authorities, those that are in power, come to their rescue and to try to mitigate. Since I have been in the coast of the country and when I heard about this flood, I've not seen leaders, government leaders, coming here to come and assess the situation and see how they want to help. So first and foremost is leaders. When you are reading in the newspaper that 1.6 million of your country's population is living below a dollar line, they are below, living below poverty, it's already a shocker. It's already a, an eye-opener. But if your people are further hit by a serious calamity such as this one, without a concerted effort from, from leaders to come and look at the problems, that's, that's a disappointing thing. Two, um, the biggest challenge that we have in Vinduk, and, uh, and that is why in PDM we speak of a one-plot one Namibian, one plot. We must ask ourselves this question. Can a country with, that is highly sparsely populated, such as Namibia, afford Namibians not to have a single plot in their lifetime? Because there is, all these reasons is a question of shelter. People are seeking shelter. Uh, we are not delivering on shelter. We are slow on shelter delivery. And people are forcing themselves into areas that 
they find. Venani further says his party has pledged 5,000 for the aid to the residents, further stressing that the housing issue in Namibia cannot continue unabated as it is a ticking time bomb. We are going to donate $5,000 for food. There are those other families that are in destitute. We will have to go and make a calculation how many are they. Perhaps to give a 1,000 to, to 14 of this group and 12 of the other. That we are going to give $2,000 worth of food and then maybe $3,000 worth of, of mattresses to those that I need so that we, we address the situation. But that is not enough. The problem is we must address shelter. We must address the right of Namibians having a plot in their lifetime. And something that is something that we want to do to exacerbate in, in the National Assembly. And this thing that we have a parliament that only closes for six months a year and people are on recess all the time, these are the solutions that we must find for our people. And I want to urge... All parties, I don't even care which party you come from, for as long as you call yourself a leader, from a local councillor, regional councillor, politician, national assembly, whatever, we have a job to do, and that job is to save the people of Namibia. And let's do it right, and let's know that these people will rise one day. The poor will one day rise against, against those that are well-to-do, and things will, not, will get ugly in this country. Mm -hmm.